Whenever someone makes you angry, angry really, and you know, this kind of thing is to develop more love. Love, you know, because sometimes you see when you when you get angry, somebody pisses you off. More than. On down love, like that, and sometimes what happens is you know. Somebody pisses you off, and then what happens is that we are neurons work. Anger neurons work is you know, and you think of that again. That person, oh, oh, mad, oh, stupid, and then makes you anger more and more. Till you go go and kind of, <laughs> <laughs> but then Mais, that's when you don't examine. Ça, you. you should take a step back. Okay. And say, okay, mm -hmm. you know, calm down. Actually, really, something very important is to be able to catch yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the type of awareness we need. Awareness we need. An awareness that aware of awareness. They're aware of your getting angry. Even if you realize you're getting angry, the fact that if you realize you're getting angry, then at least you recognize it, your anger. If you say, I'm getting angry, then at least it's like, a, it's like angry, a little bit separate from you. But normally when we're angry, we don't realize is, is that you're getting angry. It's normal. You really, most important thing is to be able to catch yourself. If you have anger problem, really work with it. Really work with it. Really. One thing is very good if you have, like your partner, your wife, or your lover, or your husband, or friend, who can give you love. 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 Hold you. Calm you. And tease you. Tease you. Tease you. Tease you. Tease you. Humor. Teasing is very important. But then, when they're angry, if you tease them, you'll get a sock. Careful. Okay. Careful. Be skillful. Sometimes it's a good idea is you agree with them. If they're angry, oh, of course you're right. I love you. Hug so they doesn't. And calm him down. Then bring sense. You know, say, you know but my sherry, let's look at another way. <laughs> yeah. Another way, another way, you see, when you examine, you see, when you're angry with somebody, if you really examine, it's not just, it's not just this particular person. You know, there are many causes and conditions in which you yourself may be at fault. So then what happens when you begin to realize many, many causes and conditions, then object to which you're getting angry, because always when you get angry, you have to have an object, a project on. Yeah. And as when you realize it's kind of, you know, that even you yourself might be involved. Yeah, but I mean, you know, sometimes you know it's your fault also, but you get angry. But there, you need your greatness. Your grandness to recognize if it's your fault, say it's my fault. There's no humility there. 
There's no like coming down, you know. There's no losing dignity in that. If you accept, I'm sorry, it's my mistake. Shows your greatness. You know? So that what we do is, you know, very much we really realize there are many factors. Then object toward which you're getting angry actually diminishes. Then anger diminishes. And that will remove, lead to, lead to non-harming, non-violence. And what is the meditation or contemplation? It's called interdependence. We are not permanent. Mistake is we think we are permanent, that we are singular, we are independent. Entire Buddhist philosophy, teaching, from the big, from the beginning up to the Madhyamika, it shows the fallacy of the view that we are not permanent, but we are impermanent. We are not singular, but we are multiple. We are not independent, but we are all interdependent. Like when you get angry, it's not just one person is fault, there are many, many causes. Then you begin to realize the interdependence, which, which brings the non-harming, non-violence, and ultimately, altruism and compassion. So the, the fundamental Buddhist philosophy, common to all, is view of interdependence. That we are not all interdependent. We are not independent. It's like if you harm others, it will harm you. If you help others, it will help you. We are all interconnected. I have the suffering connect with that. That's the fundamental Buddhist philosophy. Philosophy is when you say we don't practice called philosophy. Philosophy. Uh, when you talk in the, you know, uh, Café de Fleur, uh, artist, yeah, philosopher, but when you practice it, it's called the view. Then what is the action of conduct? Is non-violence. Non-harming. As the great master always used to say, the Dalai Lama always repeat that. He says, do not sacrifice a long-term happiness for a short-term pleasure. Therefore, always think of consequences. Consequences of action. Consequences of action. When you feel like saying, tell me terrible. What's the consequence? When you, you know, you want to do something like that. Consequence. And then the best thing will be for practice. May I show when you have negative thought. Immediately, if you say, oh, I remember an old old man who's my, who used to be my, like a, my childhood, like my second father who looks at me. Yeah. He always says, Miru, 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 Miru. It's not the proper thing. It's not the right thing. It's not ethical. But in a nice way. It's very warm. Eh? It's very, so when he said the Miru, the Rungumari, he doesn't. He doesn't say it like he's kind of like, you know, like, you know, controlling you or something, such a nice way. And you naturally listen to the person. It's a muru, meaning it should not be done. Because you see, when you have negative thought, negative thought, because mind is the forerunner of everything. And Buddha said, we are what we think. With the thoughts we make the world. Really, a mind can affect that you, if you transform your mind 
even the physical like health in it like cancer can be overcome because mind affects the body. See, so wonderful thing. It's up to you. You are your own master. You are your own master. Because karma is in the hand. Dharam always says, Master always says, we are good. We are all good. Because we have the Buddha nature. Ultimately, I'll talk about it later. But sometimes our actions are wrong. Okay. We have to correct our ways. That we are good. Never say when you do something wrong, something bad. You say, I am bad, I'm so bad, I'm so bad. No, that's not good. And also with parents, with the children. Don't just love them when they're good. And punish them when they are bad. Of course, you should give, you should actually draw some, you know, boundary, yes. However, but most important things, love them unconditionally. That's what they need. Particularly when they need, need love, when they've done a little bit wrong. You don't want, you don't want your parents to judge you, but to forgive you, but also explain to you. Your actions are wrong. You are good, but your actions are wrong. Comprend? Really. And if you need that, you grow to be strong in a good way. Very much.